In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing the big battery Husky 2 batteries that are 51.2 volt nominal. So these are 48 volt and 100 amp hours each. So we got a little bit over 10 kilowatt hours of capacity out of these two batteries. And I'm just gonna be talking about the statistics of these batteries and the capabilities and what they're actually built for. And I'm also gonna kind of toss in a bonus footage of this charger that is a waterproof charger. So just from looking at the cases of these, you could tell that these are certainly husky, they're beefy, and they're built for rugged use. So let's jump more into this and talk more about the batteries. We'll briefly talk about the accessories that come with it. I'll do an unboxing so you can see how these come out of the box. Gotta be very, very quick. That's a battery, a big battery. And each one of these batteries come with these accessories. This battery come with this handle and this handle that you can put up here and clip on the rings to be able to lift them up off the low setting area pretty easily. These uh, covers that go over top of the lugs when you have the battery cables installed. One positive battery cable, one negative battery cable, and some serial ports. These cables are two gauge wire. That battery come with those accessories in the back, which is exactly what I just went over. This is the waterproof charger. And the accessories that come with that is of course, your communication uh, cable there that ties into your meter that you would be able to monitor the batteries. Uh, two cables, a positive and negative that are four wire and the waterproof charger itself. So we have the plug-in that's automatically built into this charger. It's not something that you would plug into it. This does come with a manual. Kind of odd that these did not come with a manual, but these are pretty self-explanatory. And I do want to point out real quick that in this video, I will not be doing any type of load testing or capacity testing on this battery. This video was designed strictly for informational purposes on the big battery Husky 2 batteries. So I want to go over the specifications of the battery, look at the design and kind of get a better idea of what this was really designed for. We'll also briefly talk about the waterproof charger that comes in this kit. But like I said earlier on in the video, I would recommend the two battery and charger kit if you're taking this out on a yacht or a boat or a pontoon or an RV or something of that sort. This was designed for those type of applications and I'll explain why. And the overall dimensions of the battery are a little surprising to me. I thought that it would be a little bit bigger of a battery than what it is, being that it is a 5,120 watt hour battery. So it's a five kilowatt hour battery. And typically those are your server rack batteries or the batteries you hang on the wall and they just feel a little bigger. That's probably because this one's a little bit thicker, so the dimensions change a little bit. The overall space and size of it are probably the same, but the measurements are 18 inches long, 12 and a half, let me make sure. So 12 and three quarter deep and 10 inches high. So the overall size of this is not bad at all, considering the size of battery that it is. And this is a lithium iron phosphate LiPo4 battery that is sealed. So it has an IP65 rating, meaning you can get this wet and you're not gonna damage the battery. Also, it has uh, power ports up here, communication ports that communicate to the battery and to an inverter. So that makes it unique for a kind of a battery like this. Typically you don't see that with a BMS inside of a battery that has communication ports that can communicate with your uh, inverters. This also has a heating element inside of it, so you can use it below 32 Fahrenheit and safely discharge it uh, during that period and charge it back up. So that's really important if you're using this for an off-grid battery. Sometimes you get the uh, cheaper batteries, they don't have that capability, and they most certainly don't have the communication port. This does have Bluetooth capabilities that you can manage this battery from Bluetooth 
and see the discharge of the sails and the condition of the sails. So overall, the uh, design of this was very well thought out. Another unique feature to a battery like this is that it has its own dedicated on and off switch. So if we press that in, we'll get the indicators here telling us the battery capacity life that's left on it. And on today, we have 100%. If this would have an alarm on it, so if there would be a code thrown onto the BMS, then we'd have a red dot right there. But this is 100% ready to go and ready to run. There are also two vents at the top of the battery that allow it to release pressure if any type of pressure buildup is happening on the inside. These are uh, vented one way, so water can't get down in those and destroy the battery. But it's important to have these relief vents on batteries, especially when they have those heaters in them. Very unique design because we have all sorts of areas where we can secure these batteries to other batteries. So this is not something that you would be stocking vertically. This is something that you would take the handles off, put these together, and then put that bracket between these two batteries to secure them that way. I should probably get my drill just to make it so much faster. If we take these handles off, I guess we could put the handle there and have them turned up on the back. Like now it's gonna make it a lot harder to handle. These are not very light. So I'll get a weight uh, on these in just a moment. And this battery is not lightweight. It's 94 pounds per battery. But I'm trying to figure out what are all the different configurations that I can set this battery at? Because this is a nice configuration if I was able to turn this battery up on its side like this as well, and then put that bracket right there. So let me take this off. And that's pretty cool that you can do it like that. So. We can't stock it on top of one another, but we can certainly put the brackets in like that. And then if I brought another battery, so if we expand the system and I put it here on the back side, then I can attach them like this. So as long as these batteries are setting flat like this, we could put all these brackets on and get them nice and secure. Something I haven't seen on any other battery like this, that when we expand it, we can secure it at the same time. or you can do a configuration like this. And you probably noticed in my hyperlapse that I had these batteries turned upside down and it took a little bit to turn them over by myself. I pretty much destroyed my table, but that's what I do for you guys. And these brackets are definitely not plastic. They're metal of some sort. It feels like cast aluminum on these brackets. The uh, casing that's on the battery looks like a polymer of some sort, something you would see on an intake of a car or something of that sort. Uh, it's it's not a, it might be ABS, but it's a, it's really dense uh, plastic or an ABS of some sort or a polymer. Um, I'll need to confirm what this actually is. And you'll see that up on the side here or over on this side, actually what the casing is made out of on this battery. These are made to be secured to something in a rugged environment. So that's kind of the target of these. Would even consider this to be a golf cart battery. So you could take this, if say if you were on a boat or an RV, this is a perfect solution for this. You would take this bracket, screw it back into the battery itself, and then you would have some type of plate coming over top of this that you could screw this into. Now that battery can't shift this way or that way because you have two uh, brackets on there. You could also turn these over and make them act like feet. So you can put them on each side of that and then screw down into the base plate that you have these on. Those batteries would not go anywhere. So you'd have plates on the side, you'd have plates connecting to the top bracket, plates to a floor plate. It's gonna be nice and secure. These are made to absorb uh, shock. So these are the perfect battery if you're in a moving vehicle like an RV, a golf cart, uh, something of that sort, 
this is a choice of battery that I would certainly go with. I'm just kind of giving you an idea that these are very versatile. You don't have to use them in a moving vehicle or on a boat or even in the weather. Now, if you are going to use those in a weather scenario, be sure to not have direct sunlight coming in on these batteries. It actually says it right on the side of the battery to not put them in direct sunlight. Now you can get them wet, but UV rays destroy everything. Now I'm gonna briefly discuss the portable charger because this is IP65 rated. It's the same rating that the battery have on them. Also, this cannot exceed 57.6 volts. And that's important because if we look right there on the battery, it tells us that we can't exceed 57.6 volts coming into the battery or it would possibly damage the battery. So this is perfectly paired with these batteries. The portable charger is also a 20 amp charger, meaning that it would take you about five hours to charge one battery, five hours for the other battery. If you have them connected together, it's gonna to take you about 10 hours from zero to 100 to charge these batteries with this portable charger. And if these batteries haven't been used at 15 days, they'll automatically turn off. And I put a lot of effort into trying to cover these batteries from a different angle. And hopefully I was able to achieve that. You learn something you may not have seen in a different video, but I will be doing a full capacity test on these BMS testing, hooking them to inverters, using the charger charged up. I'm going to be doing that in future video. And if I haven't already put that out, leave me a comment in the comments below and let me know what you would like to see. I'll try to add that to that video if I haven't already got it put out. And if I have already got it put out, I'll have that in the comments below. So you can go check that out if that's what you come to this video for. But I'm hoping you found some value in this and found something about these batteries that maybe interest you now that you would wanna see them actually perform. And if that is the case and you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, tap the notification bell. So when I put out that video, you get notified. And if I was able to help you out in any way, smash the thumbs up button. It really does help me out a lot. I hope to catch you in my next one.